Uh, my name is Abu Bakr and today I am going to demonstrate to you a phenomena of AC electromagnetism. The type of magnetism that we are all familiar with is DC electromagnetism. Uh, we see DC electromagnets all around us. You see the crane lifting up and the metallic stuff from the garbage that has a powerful DC electromagnet that helps to pull the metal stuff towards it. AC electromagnet differs from DC electromagnet in two fundamental ways. Number one, we know that wet current is constant but AC current is increasing and decreasing. So the magnetic field strength and magnetic flux density of AC electromagnet keeps on changing. So at one time we would expect AC electromagnet to be powerful, at other instant we would expect it to be a weak magnet. Another thing uh, that is uh, different about AC electromagnet is that the poles of magnet continues to change at a tremendous rate of 50 times per second uh, this isn't a fixed value it depends on the frequency of alternating current but it's usually 50 times per second so let's have an introduction to electricity and magnetism electricity is a very old phenomena and in the ancient Egyptian literature uh, we find the word thunders of Nile so what were the thunders of Nile they were electric eels that caused the electric shock. Magnetism is also a very old phenomena. Approximately 4000 years ago before the birth of Christ and they were found in kingdom of Magnesia and they were uh, known by lots by a name Lodstone. Um, but since then we consider electricity and magnetism to be very different thing until a freaking genius Oyster was working in a laboratory when he passed a current uh, to a wire and he found that magnetic compasses align themselves with the current. Uh, this was arguably the most important discovery and it uh, linked electricity to magnetism. At first he thought that the magnetic field due to electric current was like a light, it was spreading out in all directions but then he uh, found out that it was rather circular and he made a grip rule that if you grip a wire with thumb finding, pointing in the direction of the current, your fingers will curl in the direction of magnetic field. Same is the case with solenoid. If, if solenoid if we curl our finger in the direction of the electric current then the thumb point in the direction of north pole. Uh, in AC electromagnet since the current is changing so the north pole is constantly changing. Uh, first there will be north pole here then it will go over there then over here then over there and uh, north pole will continuously keep changing because the direction of current is continuously changing it will just keep on changing its position now let's have a look at the apparatus here i have a solenoid a solenoid is nothing more than a piece of plastic and with copper wires uh, wound around it uh, the more the number of copper windings per unit area the more stronger will be the magnetic flux density and has more. Now I am going to introduce a current into that. The current in most instances is DC, but I am going to introduce AC current into that. I, I have to be careful that these two wires don't connect each other, otherwise they will be short circuit, and that's a complete disaster. Thanks a lot for help. And um, so yeah, I I have made sure that the wires don't quite touch each other, and they will carry on the current to the solenoid. Now, what can I further do to increase the strength of a magnet? I can introduce a soft iron core inside it. What will soft iron core do is it actually concentrates the magnetic field lines around it. So we would expect the magnetic fields to be concentrated inside the solenoid and uh, that would further like give an effect that a magnetic field strength Let's go to the demonstration part. I am going to connect it to 240 volt AC supply. Uh, now, the 240 volts are flowing through it. Uh, the question is, if I touch over here, will I experience a shock or something like that? The answer is absolutely no. Why? Because the electric effect is properly shielded and in the iron core there will be only magnetic effect. So I can touch it, I can touch it calmly, nothing will happen. Now what if I introduce another magnet in the vicinity? It will experience force in one direction 
and then in another direction first there will be north pole over here then north pole will be over here then here then here first north here then south here then north here then south here so the poles will continue to shift 50 times in one second because the frequency of this source is 50 hertz uh, let's see that happening magnet will move to and fro uh, like this 50 hertz per second and uh, you will be able to see that and also hear the noise that it makes. So you can see that it's amazing. Thanks a lot.